1943. On January 16, Ginger marries Jack Briggs, a Marine she met while touring with the USO. On February 15, Betty adds her hand and leg prints to the sidewalk at Gorman's Chinese Theatre. On March 11th, Alice stars in Hello Frisco Hello. By the light of the silvery moon, I want to school to my honey I'll cool. than I've ever seen before. And they brought me out for a dozen curtain calls. Evan Smith and Wash, shouldn't they? <laughs> Here, let me take these. I'll put them in water. Uh, I can't believe it's true. <laughs> I've had opening nights before. Lots of them. There was always someone there to sort of help you over the bumps. Someone you knew would back you up. It's funny, isn't it? How scared you can be when you think you're all alone in a strange country with that... Johnny! Oh, Johnny. I ought to punch you right in the nose for running out on me, but I feel just as proud of you as if I did it myself. You had that audience out there right in your pocket. Were you out front? Sure. I cabled for tickets from Paris. You didn't think I'd be within a thousand miles of you on your opening night and not be here, did you? I thought you were a thousand miles away. I read you were in Italy. Sure, I saw the works from soup to Switzerland. And what those babies don't know about show business over there would fill Carnegie Hall. Show business. That's still your first love, isn't it? Oh, I didn't mean that, Johnny. I know. Bernice is in Paris, dressmakers and all that stuff. She's sailing tomorrow, and I'm boarding the boat at Southampton. It's about time I was getting home. Yes, of course. I guess you're itching to get back. And how are Dan and Beulah and the Grizzly? Fine. Dan's running the place. I don't expect I'll be seeing much of it from now on. Did you buy the Majestic? No. It wouldn't have been any fun without you there. I'm going hi-hat in a big way. I'm taking over the Opera House. Oh, that's wonderful. Sure, I went into that opera stuff while I was in Italy, and take La Scala, for instance. It's only a high-class concert hall. The only difference is you play to the carriage trade, and the people in the audience don't know what the performers are yelling about. But I think I can show them back home how it should be done. Well, if you say you can, Johnny, I know you will. Gee, Trudy, it's like old times having you give me a pat on the back and telling me to go after things. That's someone else's privilege now. Oh, she's all for it. Keep opera and the Croft family and all that stuff. Funny, isn't it? Wonder where we'd all be now if we'd been satisfied just plugging along on that old act we tried out at Sharky's at night. I wonder. Well, we can all take a bow. We were tops and we proved it. We've got everything we started out for. I guess you've got everything you started out for. On June 11th, Betty stars in Coney Island. 
Look, you two-bit Tony Pastor. They like my style of singing around here. Nobody's going to change it. Understand? Nobody! I'll change it, Frankie. I might have to get a little rough, but... Maybe she's right. When you sing like that, it's not a bad idea to keep moving. Did you tell him to go back to that fast tempo? Not me, but I got a good idea who did. So you're going to sing it your way, huh? That's right, Mr. Belasco. You catch on quick. You go down and tell that leader to play it the way I told you. Yeah. And tell him to keep vamping. Right. Eddie told you. That's it. Now just keep that. What's going on? What's the matter with the curtain? I told him to hold it for a minute. I just want to fix the bottom of your dress. Now what's wrong with it? What? What are you doing? Stop it! There. Let's see what you can run the mile in now. Why don't you dare put those on? <laughs> And still or so help me, you'll break your neck. Put me down. What are you trying to do? Make a singer out of you. I'll relax. I won't. And I won't sing either. I'll show you. I won't sing a note. All right, then just keep quiet and people will take you for an overstuffed sparrow. What are you doing? Well, while we're at it, we might as well. Stop it. You're ruining it. I paid a lot of money for this dress. I guess I should have dipped you in boiling water first. Oh, you big baboon. All those handcuffs. Here. Cover them with these. Oh, you just wait. You'll be sorry. Shut up, baby. Okay, Sam, take it away. Well, I won't say. Just begun. Don't forget, I want you only. Yes, you're the only one. I'll up a little closer, love On July 2nd, Judy stars in presenting Lily Mars. She's just another one of those stage-struck kids who thinks that all she has to do to be an actress is make a wish. I told her if she ever bothered me again, I... I, I... Hey, 
Excuse me. My program. Yes, I did. Such beautiful music. Oh, everything was just marvelous. Thank you. Uh, thank yes, you. Yes, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. On July 5th, Betty marries band leader Harry James in Las Vegas at 4.15 a.m. On October 1st, Betty stars in Sweet Rosie O'Grady. There's no law against taking one's fiance out for a big evening. You warm enough, Rosikins? Oh, how oh, dare you? Did I understand you to say Frugelman's? Look, Mr. McGee, if you'll just let me out, I'll be very happy to announce to the press that our engagement is definitely at an end. Now, be a good boy. Well? well I'm thinking it over. <laughs> you know, now I'm in a position to dictate the peace terms. And, uh, what are they? Just put in an appearance at Flugelman's. Flugelman's? Flugelman's? I've got a party at the Waldorf. Yes, but the police gazette photographers can't get into the Waldorf. So let's go to Flugelman's. Not me. I worked hard enough to get out of there. I'm not going back. You're not ashamed of your start. I'm not ashamed of anything I ever did. So let's go to Flugelman's. Flugelman's? Oh, all right, but, but only for a few minutes. That's all I ask. You know, now that this civil war is over, I don't mind telling you that you were an opponent and worthy of my steel. Why, General Grant, this touches me deeply. And if it makes you happy, I'll admit further that I'm not very proud of some of the things I wrote. Will you accept my apology? Why, you old softy, you. 
You know, I think I liked you better when you were tough. Sammy, boy, look at the business you brought me. Oh, I knew you'd never forget your old dog joke. What a perfect pair. You can't beat Sam when it comes to picking horses and women. Oh, well, Flora's drawing a big crowd, isn't she? Oh, she's all right, but she'll never replace you. Oh, I don't know. It's really a toss-up. Oh, come on. Joe is a mighty proud man tonight. Five years ago on this stage, I gave a little girl her big chance. Some are kind of inclined to forget the place where they got their start. Not so my little Rosie. Is this your idea? Only partly. Singing wasn't in the bargain. Look, I don't care whether you sing or not, but these are the people that fill your gallery. On November 26th, Judy stars in Girl Crazy. The girls who see me grow soft and dreamy, but I'm a gander who won't philander. Oh, could you use me? Cause I certainly could use you. There 
There's a chap I know in Mexico Who's as strong as he can be Eating nails and drinking Texaco He is the type for me There is one in California More romantic far than you When he sings hot shot shot shornia I often think he'll do But as for you sir I'm afraid you will never make the great Muscle, it's fit for tussle. I must refuse you. I cannot use you. Excuse me. No nightlife for you. The birds would bore you. The cows won't know you. A horse would throw you. You silly man, you. To ask me, can you use me? <laughs> Though at love you may be a wizard, I'm wanting to know. Could you warm me up in a blizzard, say 40 below? Your ties are freakish, your knees are weakish, you're not a sender, you elbow bender, though you can use me. I most certainly can't use you. <laughs> On December 24th, Alice stars in The Gang's All Here. Do I really have to give you up? Sorry, it's the rule here. The Marines lay the groundwork and the Army takes over. When I first saw you, I said, target for tonight. Mm, you're not wearing them, are you? Not wearing what? Your marksmanship medals. <laughs> oh, I wish you weren't so beautiful. Why? Well, then nobody would cut in and you'd be all mine for the rest of the evening. Have you been getting results with that line? Oh, I'm sorry. You're used to getting a pretty good spew from most of these fellows, I guess. Oh, I don't mind them. After all, they're a long way from home. A long way from their girls. We can't blame them if they get off the beam once in a while. They're all pretty sweet. Even the wise ones. Say... Would you think I was too forward if I, uh... If you what? Well, if I asked you your name? No, of course not. It's Alan. What's yours? What? I said, what's your name? Oh, well, uh, it's, uh, Casey. Casey? Mmm, that's a pretty good name. Casey at the bat. That's me. Huh? Well, I, I mean, I've played a lot of baseball. Are you pretty good? Oh, well, that depends. Sometimes I uh, don't even get to first base. I like baseball. So do I. I like dancing, too. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. All right. It's beautiful out here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're beautiful, too, Edie. I couldn't keep my eyes off you in that show tonight. You ought to be the star instead of just one of the girls. I won't be for long. Phil promised me a song in the new show. Really? I didn't know you could sing. Phil thinks I can. He's a swell guy. You'll like him when you get to know him. That sounds mm -hmm. as though you're going to let me come around some more. Could be. Well, after all, I suppose I'll have to hear you sing sometime, won't I? Yes, I suppose you will. Well, what are we waiting for? All right, soldier, you win. Ready? Uh-huh. You're the orchestra? Yeah. Where's it coming from? Where's your imagination? <laughs> a journey to a star Would not be very far As long as I'm alone with you Romantic as we are A journey to a star could start before the dawn breaks through 
In 1943, Betty poses for the famous pin-up shot. She is pregnant and starting to show, so they choose to have her pose with her back to the camera. This iconic picture sold millions of copies. Betty is also the number one female box office attraction. Fox Studios ensures her famous legs with Lloyds of London for $1 million. 